the latest in immigration let's talk about immigration news what's going on with uh immigration as you can see from this article it says biden fills immigration court with trump hires and you wonder really right you wonder well why biden will do such a thing and that's really upsetting and a lot of people have been upset even some judges they wonder why biden will do that so let's get into the article and just try to dissect to see what's really going on this came out uh, last week may 5th sorry may 8th 2021 so let's uh that's the articles coming from the hill and reliable source of information and uh, what's going on what's going on is that the biden team has hired a slate of immigration judges initially selected during the trump era angering advocates who argue the white house is already failing to deliver in its pledge to push back against the prior administration shaping of the ju judiciary so biden i don't know what's going on with this uh current administration if we had to criticize the former administration and the former president for really being so um strict and so against immigration in overall and with those policies and with those uh proclamation presidential proclamations and with those bans and why will biden do the same thing like just go ahead and hire the same people so basically how many people the first 17 hires to the core system responsible for determining whether migrants get to remain in the country is filled with former prosecutors and counselors for immigration and custom enforcement ICE, as well as few peaks with little immigration experience now you wonder why case cases go wrong if you if you're picking people with little immigration experience uh, the damage is already done from the start really so and it says really none almost none of none have met their career representing migrants in court so if you're gonna get and pick judges or people who have never represented um migrants in court with little immigration experience you know that the damage has already been done so uh this is very upsetting um and then it says the, uh, the Thursday announcement from the Department of Justice initially perplexed immigration attorneys. So everybody's, we wonder really. Advocates and even some former immigration judges who wonder why the group so closely m mirror the jurist favored by Trump administration. So what exactly are you trying to accomplish, Mr. President? if you're hiring the people that mirror the trump administration the people who um they were favored by trump so of course they're going to come with their the the trump era mindset and that's not good for people in removal proceedings so it's this this is just really it's like really come on if there's something confusing really this administration is the most confusing thing that has ever happened to immigration because even in the trump era it was so clear what they wanted to accomplish it was so clear what policy they were coming after it was so clear they were so against uh, immigration at all but those people are giving us an idea that they they're for immigration but in reality their actions tell something different i heard a have somebody who i know up front what they're up to uh that's just my point of view um I said the, the 17 new Im immigration judges preference in the notice all received their conditional offers under the prior administration so you see critic says that biden administration has an obligation to fully vet the judges higher under their watch and rebalance the court system 
heavily shipped by the Trump team. It's also a surprising move for the president that has otherwise sought to quickly reverse a number of Trump immigration policy while calling for a more humane response to immigration. This is so surprising. That's the thing, the very thing I'm saying. It's like, okay, you came up and you said that you're going to come up with a more humane response to immigration. And the first thing we know, you're hiring people that were favored by the Trump era. It's like you're confusing us and you're contradicting yourself. So this is very upsetting. And um, let's just go over the article again and, and then says uh, this list I will have expected out of Bill Barr or Jeff Sessions, but they're not the attorney general anymore. Elections are supposed to have consequences, you know. Now an adjunct professor at Georgetown Law School after 20 years as an immigration judge that's included time serving as the chair board of immigration appeal the highest administrative body dealing with immigration cases so even this judge is saying really he wonder why no one on that list is among the top 100 asylum authorities in the country and that's the kind of people they should be hiring not prosecutorial retreat really they have to hire people who uh, have some type of authority when it comes to asylum. But if you're hiring a prosecutor, they have a different mindset. Their job is to prosecute. And when they come on the bench, it's different. So, and I'm like, I don't even know what to say anymore. So under the Trump administration, the Justice Department, which oversees the immigration court system, fell roughly two thirds of the 520 seats on the bench, often picking those with long career in ICE who argue in favor of the deporting people. And then now Biden's going to take the same people and put them on the bench. So, and then it's, it goes, it, it just goes on. People are just like so disappointed. They don't understand. So the Trump administration was very astute when it comes to the importance of who sits on the bench. That was as true for the Supreme Court as it was all for the Federal Circuit and the Federal District Court and the third. In this credit, they did not have a blind spot for the Immigration Court. So I think it's important for the administration actually putting this individual on the bench to decide if they have the information they need to make this decision or delay the process or the take ownership for making this appointment. So basically, it's just like, I don't understand why they'll do such a thing because those people have a different type of background and when they come on the bench, they bring that mindset there. And those are the people who actually are in favor of deportation. So if you put those people on the bench, uh, we, we all know how it's going to end up. So, and I'm like just sitting here and reading this article and i'm just so disappointed we know that they said that they wanted to put a lot of judges so that the case can go as quickly as uh it should which is right but if you bring people who were favored in the trump era and we know how hard it was on the trump when it comes to immigration and you put the same people on the bench then we are confused on what type of messages that you are sending out so my friend you just know where to go next when it comes to voting because we can't trust those people no more it's just like every day there is a disappointment and then it says the bottom line is that the president has been clear and forceful that he wants to put judging on the bench with diversity that have been lacking in the past and that not just the in terms of race and other Americans, but that diversity in professional background is just as important. Okay, the president wanted to put people on the bench that has a diverse background, but uh, this professor is saying that, well, they have to have professional background as well. We can't just get former prosecutors and then put them as judge. You can't just have judges that were former prosecutor. We need former defense attorney and other actor in the legal system who presented on the bench as well. So this is very disappointing. And 
and this is really if they're a former prosecutor so basically they are on the government side in terms of their background so and then for those people to be on the bench there's always there's already some type of i cannot say it but this um an assumption of bias going on already and for this administration to go ahead and do that it's very disappointing because their approach at least they let they let us believe that their approach was different or it was going to be different but now we see it for what it is uh you can just go ahead and read this article uh to the end uh, but just like it's very disappointing everybody's upset including um immigration lawyers including myself including um advocates and even other immigration judges they're wondering the same thing too they're like really wow this is unbelievable anyway um uh, this is the news not so good but uh it's a news it has to be out there so people are aware what's going on and again between Gwanda here immigration lawyer in the dc metropolitan area so this was u.s immigration and um if you need a consultation just go ahead and call or email me consultation fees apply we will not talk to you until you agree to sign the consultation agreement and pay the fees um until next time i think um bye bye so let me just log until next time